So um, when looking at this one again, guys, we're trying to look at the angle. So we're trying to find the angle when the word, um, what angle gives me the cosecant of what angle gives me negative 2. So again, I look at this as the cosecant of theta equals negative 2, which I can rewrite this as 1 over sine of theta equals negative 2. Now, what I can do is I've got to get sine off the bottom. So if I multiply sine on both sides, I'll get 1 equals negative 2 times sine of theta. Divide by negative 2, sine of theta equals negative 1 half. And again, we're trying to find the angle. So sine of what angle gives me negative over half? And remember, when you're doing inverse trigonometry, you've got to fall within the constraints, the domain restrictions. And remember, the domain restrictions for sine is the first and the fourth quadrant. So this angle is negative 1 half. Um, you have two points in the first and the third quadrant. It's only going to be the third quadrant. And we can see that this angle is um, right there, which is Ne uh, positive square root of 3 over 2, comma negative 1 half. Well, what is this angle? We know it's pi over 6 away from the x-axis. We don't want to go this way and do uh, 11 pi over 6, because then it'd be outside of the domain restriction. So remember, the domain restrictions is between the first and the second quadrant. So therefore, we got to get this angle, make it negative. So therefore, it's just going to be a negative pi over 6. So theta equals negative pi over 6. And there you go. Um, all right, what I'd like you guys to do before break 